Welcome back into ACCPM. I know we've been showing you Lane Stadium, but there's a reason that we got to show you Castle Coliseum because we are so excited about what lies ahead on this Friday afternoon for us. Before I introduce all of the people who need no introduction sitting by me, let me show you a little bit more about the Virginia Tech women's basketball program. They posted a program best record of 31 and 5 last season, winning the ACC tournament, reaching the final four as a number one seed in the NCAA tournament. And then coming back to Blacksburg, I know Coach Kenny Brooks is excited about this. Player of the year two times, Liz Kitley, and first team all ACC member Georgia Amore, who was just lighting teams up last year. They'll look to take another deep run. And one of the team's strong points from last year, was shooting from three. Of course, Georgia Amore, a huge part of that. They led the ACC with a nearly 35% percentage and were second in the conference in field goal percentage. And we've got a crowd out here for the first time all day because when the Virginia Tech women's basketball team shows up, people just follow, they hang around. Coach Kenny Brooks, Georgia Amore, and Liz Kitley on set with me right now. Guys, it's so good to see you. First of all, what has life been like this off season, this summer, ever since the Final Four run? And I would imagine you get a little bit of this everywhere you go. Yeah, I mean, it's been nice. I think we really felt Hokie Nation support um, through the season last year, and I think they've carried that over into the summer. I think we got recognized a few more times. Um, just a few. Yeah, just a <laughs> few, but it's all, it's all good things, and they've shown the love, which is awesome. What do you think? Yeah, no, I've loved it. I think it's great because there's like a liveliness on campus now. You know, everyone's excited for the next season, as we are too. But I think the carryover from last year to this year and the excitement and anticipation, it's, it's going to be great. Really. Coach, I sat in your office this time last season when I was doing football and I was here for a game and, and you guys were nice enough to meet with me and you said this team is going to be different. This team is just built differently. They have a different desire. For you now sitting here a year later and seeing what you guys were able to accomplish, what's it feel like? It, it feels great. You know, I still pinch myself, uh, but I think one of the best things that I did last year, I allowed myself to really enjoy every aspect of what we were doing. And it wasn't just about, okay, the game, the next game. It was like enjoying the past games. And uh, when you have two generational players like we have right here, uh, Taylor Soul, Kayana Trailer, uh, Kayla King, everyone who contributed made it so special. And uh, so much so we want to do it again. I, I know you guys are back to work and already starting to get ready to do it again, but let me talk a little bit more about the trips because you guys are just globetrotters. <laughs> yeah. Spent some time in Australia, spent some time in Greece. Let's start with Greece. What, what was that experience like with the team? Uh, I loved it. It was great, first of all, for chemistry, and we can, you know, talk about, like, the team stuff, but I just loved the beaches, like, the cities, like, everything we went to and did as a team. Like, we, we developed chemistry, yes, but just to see that side of the world was incredible. And I think we had a great balance of basketball and sightseeing and beach. How about for you, Liz? Yeah, my favorite part, there was an inflatable, um, <laughs> what was it? Oh, it was oh. like an inflatable playground. On, it took on the beach. us out. And that was, our, that was our biggest bonding moment because we wiped out. We, we embarrassed ourselves. You just yeah. are having to go through it and like compete against each other. Oh, yeah. We make everything a competition. Of course you do. Yeah. That's why I didn't even. Yeah. I, I yeah. knew it was going to be a competition. Did you get in there? No, it was very nerve wracking for me though because you know, <laughs> I have all my kids out there and they're my prized possessions and they're out on their, you know, they're on the boat and they're going fast and they're falling off with scrapes <laughs> on their arms. But uh, it was a tremendous opportunity for us to get there, bond a little bit. And I didn't see that side of the world, as Georgia mentioned. It was so much of an educational experience, just going to Athens and, you know, seeing, uh, you know, ancient Greece and, uh, and everything that was about it. But uh, I really think we came back better uh, just understanding and knowing each other and, and got a little bit of basketball, too. Which has to be so cool after everything you guys experienced last year and how well you know each other and how much you bonded and all that you accomplished. But you guys and Kayla also had another bonding trip when you went <laughs> back to Australia. What was that oh, like? Yeah. No, that was amazing. That was like three weeks of us just being in Georgia's home, which is so different because she's so used to being in our homes with our families. But we got to, you know, see her side of home and what that means to her and her family's a hoot so <laughs> no, it was so much fun was that your first time yes definitely and kayla's too yeah, right kayla's, yeah. what did your family think having everybody out there they had to be so happy <laughs> i think well we had so many like family outings as in like my aunties uncles cousins everyone came and i think they were just stunned to be you know in front of an american because <laughs> they hadn't heard like an accent i think we had a a meeting not a meeting like a little party and one of my uncles I guess comes over and he goes oh I want to meet a, I want to meet the Yank and Kayla goes oh I'm more of a Mets fan and she, he, she, she didn't get it yeah, yes. 
but no, it was great. They they love them and they know how much support they've given me over here. So they are both of them just family, really for everyone. You guys just started practicing this week. I think you said Monday was the first one for youth coach first. What was it like? I mean, I'm sure everybody was just chomping at the bit to get back out there. They were, uh, and obviously the Greece trip helped us a little bit because we got to play two games there. Yeah. So it kind of kind of got us a little bit of familiar with each other. Uh, but this time it was for real. In Greece, these two didn't play. Uh, kind of protect them against themselves because they want to just play so hard for so long and we rested them and so you know Monday it was go time it was really go time and you know first things we thought about you know we missed Kayana Trailer we missed Taylor Soul because the way that they ended the season they were just the synergy was wonderful they knew each other their movements where they were going to go uh, and now we're starting over you know and we're, we have a very talented group uh, we're just inexperienced with each other and so I'm excited about, you know, the little things. You know, we had to go back to square one, and, you know, and even these guys had to go back and things they already know, we had to refresh for them. And the beauty of these guys being out here helping me, they're helping me coach now. You know, it takes a little bit of edge off of me because I don't have to tell Clara Strack what to do because Liz will bring her over to the side. I don't have to say, Mackie Nelson, you have to do this because Georgia can pull her to the side. And it's a beautiful thing, and it's, it's when your program starts to run itself when players can, can help you start coaching. You guys have done and accomplished so much already in taking this program just to the next level with the first Final Four. When you decided to come back, first of all, the eyes emojis on Twitter, we were like, oh my gosh, is it happening? Is this the moment? What is it gonna be? Take us through that thought process. Was it an easy decision? Did you always know, or what were you thinking? No, I think this time last year, I was like completely 50-50. Um, and I would talk to them sometimes about what was going on through my head, but it was never like, it was more me talking to them listening, never them like trying to give any input. Um, but I think just as the season went on, I, I started realizing more pros of coming back. I think especially with how well we played, that contributed to the positive side of things. Sure. Um, but yeah, it really just made the most sense to me and I'm, I'm very happy to come back. I think it, it will give me more opportunities to grow and uh, honestly to play with George and Kayla and for Coach Brooks again, that's putting me in a place where I can be successful, so. I know you had to be excited too. <laughs> I was very excited. I think kind of gauging trying to she never really told me yes or no until the end like like, like I everyone don't want to peer pressure you I love you I want right. the best for you we right. still live together I did tell her I was like if you come back though like that ticket to Australia is going to be booked so I think <laughs> when we officially did that I was like okay finally they're that, coming that was back like, that's that how was I decided the... when I bought the plane ticket because yep. it was in May like obviously I would have I would have to come back yeah. so I was like well yeah. this is my last opportunity to really have some fun so yeah. let's do it I don't think it was refundable either so I was like no. okay she's officially coming back <laughs> you're like we have to do this right. um, I'm in in practice coach I saw that you posted a video of our girl right here and we know she could fill it up from three she's making people look silly all the time but tell us what else you've been working on a little, little finishing little layups little mid-range you know three-way she's so modest I know <laughs> she's so, you know if you no. were in practice we, we can't hold back our ooh. <laughs> here we got we got yeah. some of it right here oh there it is you no know, I've been having fun coach Brooks is very open with what I want to work on and Nothing, the ceiling is never too high. Um, obviously that's one really exaggerated instance, but <laughs> we're having fun, we're, we're experimenting. I think I'm at the age and the maturity now where I can really, really apply like every day in practice. I don't really have to, you know, stick to my roots. I can venture out a bit. Liz, how about for you? I know every off season there's something that you're trying to work on and grow your game. What are you really focusing on? Yeah, um, what'd you say? Oh, yeah. Well, we shoot threes a lot, yeah. And I'm actually going to make myself shoot them in practice so that I can carry that over and that will go smoothly. Okay. Um, but also just, like, making moves outside of the block. I think, like, at the free throw line, at the mid post, so that if people push out, it won't, like, keep me from doing what I know I can do. Um, so we've been getting comfortable with that, and I think it's been going pretty well. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Coach? They, they have. They've been wearing me out. You know? <laughs> but but it's, it's, it's phenomenal because... Uh, both of them, as Georgia said, they're at that stage where they're working on different things. And obviously, I think they're going to have careers beyond college. So we're working on some of those things as well. Georgia's finishing around the basket, around taller players, uh, dribbling and shooting and, and more direct, uh, under uh, stress because people are going to really play her tough. And then Liz, we're putting her in positions where she can't be double teamed. You know, we know that she causes a lot, you know, generates a lot of attention, mm -hmm. a lot of different ways, and we're putting her in positions where she can't be double teamed and get comfortable with that, and uh, I think you're going to see a lot of special things from these two this year, and what they, the hard work they've had all summer, 
and I, they're applying it. And so that's what makes it fun for me. And I'm excited for what they're going to do this year. Well, we can't wait because it really is just around the corner with the first game uh, against High Point on November 6th. But I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the second game, if that's okay <laughs> with you all, and just be a fan over here for a second. How are we feeling about that game in Charlotte against Iowa? No, we're so excited. I think the amount of people that have asked me for tickets is insane because <laughs> I simply don't have any. Um, but there's so much hype around the game, and I think that's just a great opportunity to pick up where we left off with all of the respect of women's basketball that we had an NCAA tournament and to have this much attention towards our game means a lot and obviously a lot of people are going to be tuning in to watch Caitlin Clark and hopefully a lot of people will be tuning in to watch us as well. I feel like we've gotten to that point and that I mean speaks a lot for our program. Yeah it, yeah, it does and suddenly I have so many cousins and friends in America <laughs> for my tickets. Um, no but it'll be great. Great attention for our program, their program but like women's basketball in general like what better way to do it that early in the season is kind of like a a foreshadowing of like what's to come you know I think women's basketball right now is at a stage where it's massive and the support is just insane and you can only do it with players you know such as Liz Kitley and Caitlin Clark and Paige Beckers and all of those people that bring attention Enjoy to the game. Game. Enjoy you have to say but, for sure. I know she wants that. <laughs> no but it's, I'm excited I'm so excited for it. What's it like for you because obviously you want to go one game and get time one day at a time and that is just one game and what you guys hope is a very very long season what are you telling them? Well you know it's a, it's a tremendous opportunity uh, for us to to get on that stage for women's basketball and uh, I don't want to play Iowa the second game of the season uh, but when it was presented to me it was just too great of an opportunity not only for these young ladies but for our university but for women's basketball in general and what Ally is doing is sponsoring this game and putting it on uh, we couldn't pass it up you know and, and regardless of whether I wanted to play that game so early or not we needed to play it and uh, we're excited to play it you know and to be in Charlotte you know I think we're gonna have a contingency there that's going to be very supportive for us uh, but it's just going to be a tremendous opportunity for women and women's basketball because these young ladies came here and what they built at Castle Coliseum where they are selling out and they're getting people coming into this to watch women's basketball they've done tremendous things for our university so we had to do it we're excited to do it I had to take one for the team and I go, <laughs> and go ahead and sign up for it, but we're excited about this opportunity. It's such a massive opportunity and coach, you have coached women's basketball for, for such a long time, not just here, but JMU and before. What do you think about where women's basketball uh, is right now? It it's, is so fun. It's so fun. And you know, it's, I had so many people coming up to me uh, this year over, over the summer. Uh, Hokie fans, casual Hokie fans who really didn't watch women's basketball and they were telling me stories of where they were when they were watching this run. You know, whether it was in a restaurant and they, had, they made the people turn it to the women's basketball game in a bar. Uh, whether they were at a pool party and they were watching on, on the big screen. I've had so many stories like that and it just gives me goosebumps because these kids work their tails off for that opportunity. When they go watch the men play, they deserve the same kind of respect and uh, for them to be able to get it now uh, it just kind of it, it just shows you what women's sports ha can do and has done and I think it's going to continue to grow and I'm excited to be a part of it these young ladies have brought so much attention to it not only from Hokie Nation but on a national stage and uh, just very proud to be a part of that well we are so proud and thrilled to be able to be part of who covers you guys who gets to talk about women's basketball it has been so fun to to see what you all have been able to do do you still have the sunglasses do they have like, a trophy case yep, somewhere? it's in my bedside okay, table good I was yep. scared to ask I was like I should have asked her off camera just in case <laughs> she's gonna break my heart here y'all it's always good to visit with you we appreciate the time we'll see I'm sure um, you guys right down the road November 6th and of course the big Iowa game and media day right around the corner as well, mm -hmm. October 24th. Yeah. So uh, best of luck this season, but we'll be talking to you guys soon.